So tonight the question is, how yes. do you feel about getting your booty ate? <laughs> I mean, shit, if that's what you want, then go ahead. You <laughs> what? Um, personally, I have never experienced that, and I don't think I ever want to experience that. Basically, I want to know, how do you feel about booty eating culture? Hmm, don't really have an opinion on it. How do you feel about pecking culture? Anyways, next question. Um, What's up, everyone? I'm your host, Adam Perez, back with another episode of the Wins and Losses podcast. Of course, I got the coldest co-host with me in the building. Yes, sir. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. But make sure you stay tuned as well because we got some, we got a spicy episode spicy, today. Spicy, we got some spicy. some special guests. Uh, it's the first time we have two guests at the same time, and I appreciate you guys coming oh, out. Yeah, but uh, let's let's go ahead and introduce yourselves. Like, you guys want to tell the people what you do? Um, which camera do I look at? This one, this <laughs> one right here. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Julian, aka Juju, from that just happened. Hell yeah! What is up, guys? It's your boy Eric. From that just happened. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes, sir. How, how you guys doing, man? Guys I'm doing pretty good, bro. I'm just chilling, man. Living life. Yeah, we're living, living life. You know. Hell yeah, appreciate it. Taking it a day. How's the YouTube by? life going? It's going pretty good. Uh, it's getting a little stressful. Uh, it's usually a lot of changes right now. Yeah. So I'm trying to just balance everything right now. Changes. You know? There you go. You yeah. said changes right there, man. Let's let's jump right into it, Andrew, because <laughs> we already know okay, yeah. all the people been waiting for it. Mm. I've been waiting for it. Fuck that. And <laughs> my phone died when you were going hard on the live, so I okay. really, I really got to get this story, man. I know you started off YouTube uh, with your boy. I believe his name is Devel. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That started back in Ohio, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys were a duo. And you guys grew up, or, or grew together, I should say. Grew, grew up together, together too. And grew up yeah. together, oh, too? damn. Okay, yeah. And recently, you guys just parted ways. Yeah. Let, 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 speak let, on let's, it. Let's speak on that a little bit. Bro. All right. Let me hear this story. So, first off, I'm not going to get too deep into this, because uh, there's there's certain boundaries I don't want to cross. Like, I've known Neville for 10 years, and, like, I don't want to come on here and, like, air out any personal stuff that we're going through, like, behind the scenes. But I will say, uh, basically, he just kind of lost you know the drive kind of to like continue the pranks mm -hmm. and uh okay. because we did youtube for five years and like half of our i don't even say half of our, like 90 percent of our career we were literally doing it the wrong way so it felt like that's why he's so i don't know i think that's a part of the reason why he's just but exhausted you yeah, nah, I, hear you. I don't know so bro. y'all went hard it's, for five years we went hard and for he a kinda while just like got a little burnt out is that what pretty much okay and then how are you dealing with the fallout like what was what was like the first action that he took that was like okay he doesn't want to do this anymore <sighs> and this goes all the way back to <laughs> he's like, like fuck october, i don't want to say this you know? yeah it, it goes back, back to october well the first thing was him taking a break okay and i remember when he mentioned the break to me he was Dennis like Rodman, he took a break oh he did no okay my bad oh, <laughs> 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 but yeah he was like i just i need time off and what was weird to me when he was like I don't know when I'm coming back and I don't know if I'm coming back. Mm. So I was just like, I thought maybe he was just going through some stuff and he was just like not in his right mind or, mm. you know, right. Not, I don't know. I didn't think that he would actually quit when he told me that. Okay. So, but you know, weeks went on months and, uh, yeah, he just, and then he just hit, he hit you up one day and said, yo, like, I can't do this no more. And that's the like, thing. Like, he never really, like, straight up said, like, mm -hmm. oh, so. I'm just. <laughs> so he might come back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope so. Who knows? I hope so. Maybe one day. But uh, okay. maybe well, I know he day. was on live the other day talking about how, like, he was done with uh, with the whole YouTube and everything. Who? Uh, yeah. Develop. <laughs> really? Excellent. Like, yeah, yeah, he said he wanted to yeah, quit. Yeah, he said he, he said wanted I'm, to quit. Yeah. A few days ago? No, 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 no. Oh, so this is like a couple a weeks few ago. days ago, like a couple Bro, weeks ago, like, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. A couple. Oh, weeks Juju, ago, this is the first time I Juju's watched heard the video. This. A couple yeah, weeks ago. I, we don't we don't follow each other anymore. So, oh, oh it's like that. <laughs> Damn, I don't know, man. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that, in general? Like, besides the YouTube shit, you just lost like someone you grew up with. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, I, you guys aren't at a beginning stage, so like, mm. you still got to move forward, go hard, and you drop. You know, you lost someone. Right. Like. Uh, it's tough uh still trying to figure out like how to move on from it mm -hmm. and like it still really doesn't feel real if i'm being honest like it kind of feels like this is like some type of dream like it yeah. didn't really happen uh i don't know man it's just i think one day we're gonna end up working together again 
Okay. I think we just got to figure some things out. I think we just got to take time away. Because, like, not only were we, like, business partners, mm -hmm. like, we're business partners, we were best friends, and we lived together. So I knew, yeah. like, I was like, one of those are going to have to go. Wait, so he still lives with you right now? No, no, okay. we moved out. No, we got our own place, in, like, at the end of October because everything just collapsed. So. Oh, damn. Yeah. He stays out here? Yeah, he stays out here. And you don't see him at all? Like, you know, I haven't seen him since uh, that bro, party. Yeah. And that's we were, another. Bro, we were at the party, bro. <laughs> so crazy, Wait, bro. Wait, not the Halloween party? Is no, this right? is New Year's <laughs> party, bro. Uh, New Year's party, like, so we were talking about it. Me and Adam were talking about it before because we, we saw your live or a post or something. Mm -hmm. And then I go to the party and I see Devel's there. He's mm -hmm. there first. And then right. you roll up after. And I'm just like, wait, what the hell is going on, bro? <laughs> right. And they didn't even talk to each other the whole time. And I'm over there playing pool with this guy, like, busting his ass. <laughs> busting his ass. And then I fucking go, what's up, Juju? And then, like, shit's just normal. Bro. I don't know. That shit was weird, though. They didn't even talk to each other the whole time. That's and true. Juju, y'all didn't talk to each other We didn't, we didn't say a word. God, because it's so like, weird. I don't want to... <laughs> Let's ask Eric's. Let's ask Eric's perspe perspective. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? How do you All think right, about this? The bro? newest addition to yeah, that just happened. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Yeah. I there mean, we go. Um, I can guess we can go into a little bit how I came about that just happened. I, I'd say it's a big part of Devel brought me on the channel actually. Oh, oh really? But, but as well as as well as Julian, mm -hmm. um, I was just an ASU student doing my thing and. Oh. Um, yeah, I went to ASU for my freshman year of college. Oh, okay. And then, and this was probably about seven, yeah, eight months now ago. And um, oh, damn. I was just walking on campus and saw these guys with one of my friends and asked them, asked them if I could watch some film, <laughs> film. And then we just became friends, played basketball together. We all, all having a good time. And then one thing led to another and um, we're filming and I'm helping them and I went and lived with them for two months in the summer, and I think th where then the channel really, like, started. To started I'll talk to about off. that. Um, yeah. So y'all obviously we all know the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, when it first happened, like our channel completely died. Like really? completely. When it first like, happened. Yeah, like around like when it first like March? really like yeah. yeah around like March. Okay. So the revenue literally went from like a couple hundred bucks a day to four dollars a day. And we were completely poor, and we had we had nothing going for us. Yeah. And we were literally like and four thousand dollars. Were you at, at that time? Maybe like three hundred twenty. Three twenty. Three twenty around there. That and, was before uh, you start, you guys started dying. Hmm. Yes. That was before you started dying. You got three hundred twenty. Yeah. Oh shit. All right. So we were just we we didn't know what we were gonna do. Like I mean, we were four thousand dollars backed up in rent. We didn't. We had no, like, nothing going for us. But I remember Eric was coming, so we had that. From Boston, literally. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. He was staying with us for two months, so we had that, and then we had a. Uh, I don't know if you are you guys familiar with Love the Surf YouTube Ooh, channel. Who? Nah. Love the Surf. All right, but nah. they got like seven million subscribers. My homie Ryan was just telling me one day. He was just on the phone. He was just like, bro, like this is the moment in your career where like, you know, you're in the movie where your back's against the wall mm -hmm. and everybody's looking at you, and it's like, either you're gonna sink or like swim. swim. Yeah. So he's just like, what are you gonna do? Like you gotta figure out like if you're gonna make it on this ch on this channel. Yeah, yeah. So he told me, he, I remember, you, you remember the phone call when yeah, he was just telling us? Yeah, we had a big us, phone call of everything that was wrong with the channel, <laughs> everything that was completely bad. Who was critiquing that? Ryan. Ryan, oh. dude. Right? Mm -hmm. oh. He was just like, all right, well, the quality could be better. Mm -hmm. uh, he was like, the thumbnails are terrible. Mm -hmm. He was just like, the banner's bad, the Abby's bad. He was just like, that's <laughs> oh, why y'all's wow. blues are, like, the views are plummeting right now. And he told us all that. So I remember me and Eric literally spent, like, all night. We changed every single thumbnail, every thumbnail on the channel. On the channel. And then oh, we changed damn. the Abbey, we changed the banner. And then one day, like a week later, we got like a thousand dollar grant from like the SBA. We took that money, we didn't put it on the rent. Uh -huh. We yeah, bought smart. a new camera. <laughs> Thank <Smart>. you. God <laughs> <laughs> We went and bought a new camera. We upped the quality. What camera did you buy? Uh it was the ninety D. Okay. Canon yeah, ninety D. Mm -hmm. yep. And then we bought a new lens. So we literally put all the money like back Instant. into the business mm -hmm. before we paid rent. Because we were just like if So y'all weren't doing that in the first place? We, I mean, we, we had no money. Oh. There was literally oh, okay. no So, like, money. were you shooting with your phones at first? or No, we had a can we, It was a Canon T5i. Okay. We were shooting with. It just wasn't. Decent, like, starter camera. Okay. It's like a starter camera. Like, if you're trying to be up there with the, like, yeah. the Dawson's, like, yeah, the yeah. daily drop, you know, you got to step you up the quality. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, we kept going out. And then we had this, I had this weird thing in my head. I'm just like, I don't know too much about the virus right now. Yeah, yeah. So, like, do I quarantine or do I go out? 
But it's like if I quarantine, like I'm going to get evicted. Yeah, because you yeah, need to make your bread. I gotta make yeah. my money, yeah. or do I go out and risk getting the virus, and then, but then also have the chance to get my channel back? Mm-hmm. Obviously, <laughs> I'm just like, damn, yeah, yeah. what am I gonna do? So I just I went out and I just said, screw it. Like if I die, like if whatever happens, mm-hmm. happens, because I'm gonna have really bad problems if I don't get if my I'm channel homeless. back. Yeah, if I'm yeah. homeless, because I yeah. So uh, we went out, we filmed, we shot, and uh, the first video that really sparked was the Sugar Mama video. That's what we were gonna ask you. That's what, was what your like, first like viral or most viewed video you was guys that the, had was that the turning point from from the downfall yeah that was yeah. the turning point that, that, was the the turning point. that, that brought everything hard back to film. we filmed we went out and shot that like three or four times you said hard to film yeah because yeah, i had to do it like three to four well, times well for one like you have to pick up milfs <laughs> yeah <laughs> two it we just everywhere we went we got kicked out security mm-hmm. chased me <laughs> where'd y'all go uh, we fashion went, square yeah. tempe marketplace <laughs> uh tempe town lake we went you said everywhere. security chased you? Yeah. Like, they, they, <laughs> they, they full on chased, chased me, like, through the thing. And then, was, like, then we had the cops called on us, We had us the too? cops called on us, everything. What the fuck? Yeah. Just for the damn sugar mom. Just I don't think people sugar. like lollipops. Hey, that shit was worth it. You said, it, I don't think it was. Like <laughs> but that girl was down in the one in Cali, I think it was. She was, like, on the cliff. Oh, oh you talking yeah. about the part two? Yeah, that was the part two. That one was a funny story. That's a funny story. Hey, tell us the story, bro. There's a funny story behind that. So, Eric, you can go ahead, because you kind of... Were you recording that? Yeah, so he recorded that. Both. Well, I recorded both of the Sugar Mamas. Okay. And so... And this was, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so there was a funny story because we saw that lady mm-hmm. before, okay. and I'm like, Julian, like you have to get this girl, <laughs> like you have to, like she can be the thumbnail, right? And and Julian's like, Nah, dude, I can't do it. She's with her family. This, this, and this. <laughs> oh, I'm she like, was with her. Mo- I, I haven't seen her this mother. Yet, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she was with her mother, you know, and she's like 40, 44. 44. 44. That's oh. right. The lucky number. 44. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so double my I was age. like, Julian, like, I don't know. You have to get this girl. Like, like this will we're make not her, leaving. This will make or break the video. So we're walking, and then she walks down on a cliff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Julian, like, you might die. <laughs> you got to get this. You got to get this clip. Like, I don't care what you do. Like, you got to get it. And so, and I don't know if you saw, but that that cliff was huge. Oh like, yeah, that shit was like a hundred fifty foot cliff, too. right? Oh, and so shit. she's walking out on the cliff, and she's isolated there. What the fuck was she doing in the first place? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's actually a very valid question. Yeah, if you watch it, you were maybe she was, she was about to end like, it all, bro. She was like, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> this so damn virus. <laughs> this damn virus. So I'm like, yeah, you're gonna die, but like, might as well get the shot, right? So I stand all the way back. Don't didn't even know if the mics were gonna reach that far. The Damn. the lens was all the way zoomed out, three hundred oh, millimeter. Yeah. It was it was gone. It was far. It was and, super and far. And we got the shot, and it was like I was like, let's go. Wait, so what did you say to her? Like, what was the? I pretty much just uh, introduced myself like I always do. Yeah, and I had my lollipop. A huge, yeah, big huge, ass lollipop. Big ass lollipop. Oh, the biggest oh, lollipop. The biggest lollipop. lollipop yeah. Actually, like yeah. So I don't even know how I came up with that idea. I just always thought it'd be funny just to ask for a sugar mama, but have like a yeah, prop like a with me. Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just introduced myself and I pretty much just asked her if she would be, like, would be willing to like be my sugar mama. And, <laughs> and what was her response? Her response was, oh my God, like how old are you? And I'm just like, I'm 22. She's like, oh my God, I'm 44. And I'm just like, oh, well, that's double my age. I was like, I like older women. So, uh, you know, just pretty much just gaming her up or whatever. And uh, she took down my number. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Exactly, mm-hmm. that's how I knew she was with. Like, it yeah. just seemed like she was like, like, I was just curious if she had a man too, bro. Yeah, that yeah, that, that, that was, was kind of bad. Family, bro. That's, that, was like, that's what I was like. Well, oh, she like, said she was newly divorced. Oh, yeah, oh, another wrinkle down. in the story. Yeah. Right, it's another wrinkle. Yeah, bro, she was looking for some. But sadly, she never, she never texted me. So, uh, you know, hey, if you're watching this right now, it's like, no. <laughs> oh, well, Don't yeah. jump off the cliff. That's what I was asking, bro. Out of all the videos you guys do, when you, when you get into girls' numbers, do you guys text? Like, you guys hit the girls up? Do you guys you actually have to hit them? the girls up, bro. Don't tell me like you guys don't. This look at, look at, look at, look at his face. fucking face. <laughs> look at Eric's face. Right, right. There's no so, way you don't. Okay. Like, uh, I'll, I'll go. First off, wait, do you save the numbers? Yeah. All right, do you really save them? I save some of them. Okay. Sometimes, like, if I'm, like, doing a scene. What's the criteria to get a save? For the girls out it's there, it's just well. It's usually like sometimes I'll give a girl my phone and it just automatically save. Okay. Or sometimes I'm just not thinking. I'm just like, oh, let me just save this. Yeah. But like, it, say I get a girl's number and then I'm like, I see another girl, I automatically just delete it off my phone because okay. I'm like, I don't want the other girl to be like, what the fuck? Because everything's yeah, yeah, happening so, so quick, exactly. especially yeah. when you're interviewing. Okay. But uh, I mean, I will say I'm not going to sit on here and cap, but <laughs> I, I've obviously I hit up a few, but 
<laughs> you have to. I have to feel like a connection with you for me yeah. to actually hit you up. And like, but you be telling them I feel this vibe. I, hey, this I know. I, I, I be lying, but yeah, like I, I obviously don't have the time to text every single girl. But if I really feel like a girl won't waste my time, mm-hmm. and like I can actually vibe with you, kick it with you, chill with you, and you're not weird, and you're not like the rest of these girls out here, then mm-hmm. I'll text you. We'll talk. Like, yeah. yeah. So you have closed some of them out. I guess you could say yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> let's, ask, let's ask Eric. He's a little quiet over there. Yeah, so... Eric be looking smooth with him, girl. <laughs> he be having the arm around Hey, they be talking yeah. and shit on you. That's the thing. Honestly, like, I save... All, I have all the numbers, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have all of them. I've never... I don't, I don't yeah, text the girls. Oh, you, you I don't know, your phone, phone storage must go crazy. You got a girlfriend, huh? No, I don't have a girlfriend. It's uh, tough out here, you know? Any, any girls watching, I'm a single bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a single bachelor. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't text any of the girls, and I'm not capping. I just, I don't really... I actually believe him, too. He looks very sincere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You're from Boston, bro. I feel like... <laughs> nah, buddy, I don't play. Boston, they, they slick over there. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, but... <laughs> No, yeah, I just keep it for the videos and personal. Okay, yeah. it's good. I, I to feel keep, like it's better. It's good to keep things professional. No, of course, um, yeah. Because like, you just don't have a small audience, so it's like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, Facts. if you don't keep it professional, it's a little weird. So let's let's talk about your role, uh, Eric. Like, I know you just like. What you just uh, hopped in, right? To that yeah. just happened in. How recently? What, like a couple weeks ago or something? Like officially hopped in. Officially, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, officially like signed was like a month ago. A month. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Damn. But since being on the channel, probably seven months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But and you guys, like, right right now, right? It's just you two? Pretty much. Pretty much right now? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, when one is, like, uh, interviewing, the other one's recording? That's right. That's what's going on? Okay. Mm-hmm. But, I, I mean... Sure. Um, Damn, really? It's just but, you guys? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Just, you guys just, don't have an editor? Small, or I'm, I'm the editor. I was about to say, no. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. You be editing? Yeah, bro. You be editing? I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> hey, I'm tired too, bro. Bro, editing ain't no joke. But... I would say it's Julian's channel. It's not okay. mine. I yeah, just yeah. am helping, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you contribute. Channel, you know, I contribute, mm-hmm. and um, mostly film for Julian. Mm-hmm. And then I have my own channel and my own TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Did you start? You He's doing that, good on TikTok that, too. That uh, TikTok and YouTube before you met Julian. Then no, um, I, I was so new to the whole influencer and uh, YouTuber thing. Honestly, mm-hmm. I didn't really start until I met them and. I was like, oh, this would be a cool thing to do. Like, might as well try it out, you know. Mm-hmm. And and I like it now. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's it's interesting, and you never know what's gonna come come up. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah. facts. Are you still at ASU right now? Um, no. Currently, I go to Georgia State, so I'm just oh. doing online classes. Um, I actually got kicked out of ASU <laughs> for, for what? what for doing people's homework. Oh, that's the wow. thing about what's your, what's your major. Uh, finance. Uh, Bro, I'm telling you, this kid, Eric, I'll I'll say this confidently. Like, he's probably, like, not only one of the, I think he's the smartest 19 year old kid. Oh damn! You're only in 19. America, uh, yeah, he's only 19. You're only 19. You're older, yeah. bro. I wonder why you don't drink. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. I was like, damn, you don't drink, dude. He's no, like yeah, I'm 19. <clears throat> but um, Shit. yeah, that that sucked. I remember you were really hurt, like getting kicked out. Yeah, that was like devastating. All my friends, I had to leave everything. Mm. Went back to uh, Boston and didn't know what I was gonna do. Were you in a frat? Uh, no, I wasn't. No. <sighs> You look like so you what made you say fuck it and just like moved out here? Because so, you just moved out yeah, here, right? Yeah, so actually um, my uncle invited me down to Atlanta. Mm. So I was living in Atlanta for the past, last semester. Okay. okay. And it was just so isolating and lonely. I really didn't have any friends because of the whole COVID situation. Mm-hmm. Did all my school online, basically. Mm-hmm. And then the only really social interaction I had was to go out and film with Julian, like go to travel and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then... I actually found uh, a filmer in Atlanta who would take trips with me to University of Alabama and mm-hmm. Coastal Carolina and like different schools down there. So that was basically my whole social thing. But I was like, screw it. Like I was uh, asking Julian, like, I don't know, dude, I, I, I hate Atlanta. <laughs> like I need to get out of here. Like is there something we could do, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, uh, I t- took the chance and now He's I'm like, actually. Amazing. There's a situation brewing with my partner, and uh, yeah, you oh. can come. And that's perfect timing type shit. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like you could boom in Atlanta too, though. Like Atlanta is pretty. Yeah, what's the scene like out there? It's very uh, ratchet. 
Right. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, I, I would say that straight off the You back. can see, like, it's... most of the interviews are, like, not real interviews. Like, a lot of the people in Atlanta, like, they just have, like, mm-hmm. the little phone. They record on phones, mm-hmm. and they right. use their phones as microphones. And they just go to malls. And they just go to malls. I've seen that. Those are, like, the I diving do. tester videos. Yeah, exactly. like, <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of those videos. I, just, <laughs> I feel like they're oversaturated. It was hard. It was hard to film in downtown Atlanta, too. It was, like, a lot of violence, honestly. Oh, every really? night. Every night. And like, have you ever had like, like something happen with you? Yeah, I've had guys come up, steal the microphone, like what threaten the to kill me, guns what? pulled on me. Oh when shit! When I'm filming in downtown Atlanta, like I would tell Julian, I, I literally told him to stop filming out there. Yeah, bro. But I, I like had it. Come to white house, AZ. Yeah, and that's the South, dude. Yeah, People yeah. are different out there. Like yeah. girls are totally different. Yeah, they. they um, it's it, it was much doors. i don't know yeah, yeah. <laughs> compared to scottsdale like how was like atlanta like interviewing <laughs> very di- i would say fun honestly. like could you put arm your arm around the girls out no, there hell no <laughs> oh, that's what i thought <laughs> they'd punch was... me in the face <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie. that's why i always went to university of alabama that was my spot I loved. Okay. <laughs> julian didn't want to go oh no i'm not going to alabama look at me <laughs> I, I heard he tried to get me out there i couldn't do it Oh, I'm let's sorry. let's talk about Ohio because that's where you started from, right? right? Like, yeah. how is it compared out here? Oh Lord, um, yeah, there's nothing going on in Ohio. Really? No. What part exactly? Akron? Or I was Akron? in a. Col- he said Akron. My bad. <laughs> Akron. No, I was in Columbus. Oh, okay. So it was the capital, but uh, yeah, it was so hard to get stuff done out there, and like I would film at. Uh, I'm pretty sure y'all know Ohio State University. Yeah, yeah. That's where I started, and uh, the interactions were just dry. Same. It was literally like the same video every video because you get the same interactions. Oh hi. Uh, Wow. You know what I mean? It was just like boring people. Boring, boring people. people. Boring people. And uh, so Arizona has more popping people. Than oh yeah, of course. Oh, really? very more friendly. And yeah. out of everywhere I've been, I, I don't know. I can't attest. Yeah, did you say the same? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, Arizona's um, your favorite spot to film. I know you said you told uh, me at the party that one time. San Diego is your. Yeah, I love best filming in San Diego. That. Yeah, I'd probably say San Diego over everything, but probably Arizona's right next after that because. People are chill. And, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let, let's take it back to like how it all started yeah. in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, for like sure. You, how old are you now? I'm 22. 22. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you started what, like 18? 17. I was in high school. In high school. Mm-hmm. For sure. All right. Um, yeah. Let's start there, bro. All the way back from high school. You started yeah, filming so during high school. Pretty much. I started filming my junior year in high school. And um, I completely did not like school. Mm-hmm. Like, I hated it. I could do the work, but like, I just kind of, yeah, it just wasn't for me. I felt like I could be using my brain and, like, my smartness in, like, a better way. I'm like, Mm -hmm. like, these senses, like, what are these math problems? Like, what are these really getting me? Like, what am I doing for the world, like, by just giving (laughs) my teacher this paper? You know what I mean? So, junior year, I kind of pretty much stopped going, and I focused on YouTube. And uh, me and Devel started growing the channel. He was a year above me. That's commitment so it was right just, there. He said he just stopped going, going to school. school. To hey, I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to encourage anybody to drop out. All right, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's very risky. So if you're gonna do that, make sure you gotta have a plan. You gotta be yeah. balls deep. Fuck yeah. That. You gotta, you oh gotta my go god. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just I would film every day with him, and uh, we would just we were doing skits on Twitter and stuff, and like that's pretty much how it started. And then we transferred to YouTube and just started filming on YouTube and like. Yeah, we just tried to go out as much as we could. How many subscribers did you get out in Ohio, Ohio before you moved? I think 120,000. 120K, oh, and then shit. you moved to Florida? And then I moved to Florida. And oh, that's okay. where, like, I guess, like, the, that just happened. Like, the brand really, like, like we Exploded. got everybody's attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. How is it filming in Miami? Bro? I feel like there's so <sighs> Miami got it's, some the baddies. They got some baddies. Got baddies. Miami's Eric, cool. Eric's smiling over there. Because <laughs> he knows <laughs> it's true, bro. Like, I've been seeing their videos in Miami and... God I like damn. filming in Miami. Uh, just who'd you say? Winwood, Winhood. Oh my God! Yeah, Winwood's well, in well, that well, situation. We'll talk about what was that? It's just it's kind of like. See, I don't. It's not really the hood hood, but like the it looks really good. Yeah, it, it looks, looks really worse good. than it is. It's actually. it's actually I think, it's like a, um, it's like a wall like a painting area. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you could say. I just like, like creative. Yeah, like anyone could just go spray paint on the walls. What the fuck? And they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Is that is that that's where you guys film? Yeah. Well, that's I mean, where we did interviews. But now, when me and Devel first got there, we'd film in like FAU, like Boca Raton. Then we go to South Beach, or we go to University of Miami, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I didn't like. I liked filming in Miami, but I didn't like my personal life in Miami. 
Like, really? that's why I wanted to move because it was just. You didn't like, have any family out there either. Mm-hmm. Well, I had my uncle out there. Oh, okay. Uh, but like, that's pretty much it. And uh, just a lot of fake people, like, really? just what nothing. What do you mean by fake? Like, <sighs> like, you know those people that hit you up and be like, oh, I miss you, but, like, live 20 minutes away from you? And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and don't, don't even don't see you. Like, if you really wanted to come, if you really miss me, you'd drive over here. But, like, yeah. just yeah. stuff like that. A lot of people were like that. And uh, nobody linked with me. Like, nobody linked with me or DeVille. Like, we literally had no friends down there. And it was just, our lives just sucked. And we couldn't figure out why. Like, it was just, it was weird. So, um... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much why we packed up. And you guys were getting the content though out there, right? Yeah, we were getting yeah, and the content. You were booming out there, right? That's where you really grew. We were doing all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So did you see like a level up when you guys did move to Arizona? Yeah. Oh, for I mean, yeah, for sure. Like the last eight months was probably like the best the channel's ever been. Really? Damn. But, uh, yeah. And then what? You grew. To, you grew to how many subscribers? Do you think in in Florida? Before um, you moved down here, right? Pretty sure it was three hundred thousand. Three hundred, and then you moved to AZ. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And for sure. your strongest fan base in San Diego, for sure? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no. I don't think, no. Nah, yeah, where's I'm, most of your, like, Well, I think most of the subscribers are in California, but, like, I wouldn't say they're oh. most in San Diego. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not really too sure, but, Oh, yeah. okay, okay. But you're, like, you're most, like, recognized in San Diego, though, right? Or no? Mm, I just say California in general. Cal- like, oh, California. Not if I'm in L.A., like, San Diego. I get, yeah, I get, like, people walk up to us a lot in Cali, so. What about you, Eric? I've been recognized a lot actually recently, which is really just far. <laughs> I wonder off. why. Why? Yeah. Why do you know why? <laughs> yeah, actually. What did you a, do? I was at a I was at a party uh, a couple nights ago. <laughs> and I had uh, four people recognize me from Cody Co. Oh, oh Cody Co. <laughs> nice. So yeah. what happened with him? <laughs> yeah. So I was on uh, Cody Co.'s video, "Pick Up Artists in the Wild." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just that's what How did, happened. What was the story, bro? Like you woke up, your phone was just booming. Like yo, Eric. honestly, like I don't even know who Cody Co was to be Are honest. You, it started like this. Eric was just like, so this is a YouTuber named Gilstrap. Okay, he makes pranks and stuff, and he hit up Eric and he DM'd him. He's like, dude, you're on Cody Co. Yeah. And Eric didn't know who Cody Co was, so Eric told me he's like, bro, like I just got a message saying I'm on Cody Co. And I was just like, oh shit. This is not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I was not stressing good. out. I'm like, bro, because I thought he's you know a what this. Do you know what their channel yeah. is about, right? Mm-hmm, just okay. roasting Honestly, people. I, 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 I didn't. Down I didn't know. Know. Bro, their channel is literally they just critique and just roast people oh, on the internet, roast basically. The they'll even roast their fans. Like they'll have their like, yo, send us the picture. We're gonna roast you, mm-hmm. and they'll do that, bro. That's their whole channel. So like he, so Juju that. already knew what was up when. Yeah, I was scared. That's why you're like. I'm like, and and then so then we turn the TV on and we're like. I'm the thumbnail. Yes, yeah, so he was the. Thumbnail. He was the. Not only was he in the video, he was the. Thumbnail. I was like, oh god. I'm like, I look at his subscribers, like, five point two million. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. Okay. Mm. What What did I just get myself into here? And so. Um, what was the thumbnail? Was it, it was, was it me you? holding a, a girl. Yeah. yeah. And hey, what do you say in the video? <laughs> Honestly, bro, I didn't think it was that bad compared to the other one. That's right. It, really? I think. I think. Um, Julian and I were talking about this a little bit. Like, he just, it was the fact that he put me in that category that, like, just really made it messed up. That's what I didn't like. I will, I'll speak on that. Go ahead. I just felt like it was a little shitty because they kind of went to, like, Eric's worst, like, or not even worst, but, like, was that, like, a video that that made him look, like, where's that, that video, was that one of your first ones or was that, like, a more recent one? No, so, um, those, those were actually. Those clips, the the two that he, the three that he used, were in Coastal Carolina. Okay. So that was probably about like I don't know five months ago. Okay. Um, but you were like fairly new to like filming, right? Around that sort of time? yeah. I mean, I I've, I did my fair share of interviews, so I mean, okay. like it is what it is. But like the lines that I was using for like were strictly for the video. Yeah. What you was know? the line again? Um, He's like, what can you offer me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you <laughs> have to God. offer? That's so out of context. And then he like, was just like. That is the worst fucking thing you can say. Right. Right. He he took it out of context. We're not actually going up to girls and be like, "What do you have to offer?" Yeah. It's yeah. more of like a like, like your personality traits. Like, yeah, can you, yeah, like, yeah. Can you it wasn't cook? just can like, you like f- fuck me tonight. Right. <laughs> like, I'm not like, like that. Yeah. But um, but it's funny because like you can come off that way and mm-hmm. like someone can perceive it that way. But that's I guess mm-hmm. what's the entertainment, you know? Yeah. No, of course. Yeah, they they literally took your words flipped it into mm-hmm. like entertainment and, and you know it is what it is i mean like i'm in the public eye they can take yeah. it however they i mean want. that's kind of like a good thing like yeah five million people yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah i wouldn't take it bad out so 
Yeah, um, but it was. It's just interesting. I mean, I think girls look at me differently now, and they just think, oh, you yeah. pick up every girl you talk to, you mm-hmm. do this, you do that. You know, like I don't know. Girls, it's just hard for Julie and I in general. I was, I was just, were, I was just yeah. about to ask you guys that. Like, how is that with the whole like? How is dating? Shit? Like, yeah, dating's tough. <laughs> I will say that. Uh, it's just hard to like, because I feel like every girl. I feel like I attract the wrong girls from like by doing what I do. Like, it's hard to attract like a a good God fearing woman. You know what I mean? Like, because it's just they're gonna look at me and look at my channel. Oh, can I eat your ass? Oh, this guy's an asshole. This guy's wait. So you don't you don't you really eat ass? Be eating ass? No. <laughs> Eric's fucking shit. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no, no. No, we never, we've never. <laughs> Lots of entertainment. Though. We never will. No, it's strictly no, no. entertainment. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people, it's kind of embarrassing because, what, the first one did one million? The first one did one million. <clears throat> and that's two. And the other one did two. The other one did two. The last one just flopped. But. Right. But, like, basically three million views. Like, that's three million people that think we eat think, us. Think <laughs> we eat us. Yeah. So y'all weren't thinking that before you went out and filmed, like, damn, I don't know if we should do this. Well, it, the, fir- the how it came about was actually really funny. <laughs> we were in Old Town, and um, uh, Old Town Scottsdale, and we were we got, like, five videos done that night. And all of a sudden, we had no more video ideas. We were like, oh, we don't know what to film. Because we did five interviews that one night. Mm-hmm. And we asked these random girls, we're like, so what, what do you think would be a good interview? They're like, um, ask people if you can eat their ass. <laughs> and we're like, um, probably not. <laughs> yeah. At first, I was like, hell no. Remember, I was not with yeah, it Yeah, Julian was not with it. But like my crazy ass was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know? And so then we're just like, okay, we'll just be like, so can I eat your ass? You know? Yeah. yeah. And so we just, we did it. And it's, just, and it is what it, it is. is. And it blew up. <laughs> oh so. my gosh. That shit went booming. And it was crazy. So we did the first one in Old Town, the second one at Coastal Carolina, and the third one was in Miami. And the fourth was like, nah, nah, we're done. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, we're done. What do you you guys come up like with uh, your content or like your questions and stuff like that? Like like, you just said right there, you asked a girl, but that was because you guys ran out of ideas. Sometimes me and Eric will be on the phone. We'll just be like talking. Just we'll just start coming up up with ideas, like just stupid stuff. But I kind of just let the ideas just flow naturally. Like I have a whole note like in my phone, just Mm -hmm. like hundred ideas. I yeah. feel like like so. being a YouTuber, especially like doing what you guys do, I feel like you could always just go on YouTube too and then just yeah. like take other people's topics just study. because mm-hmm. you guys are different people at the end of the mm-hmm. day. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, yeah. I feel like we, we stay away from that. We don't really like to copy, you know? We yeah. kind of want to have originality. Wanna, yeah. Whenever somebody brings up an idea, like a lot of people have been telling me to do gold digger pranks. Oh, and I'm yeah. just like, bro, I'm, it's oversaturated. <laughs> and like most of them, 95% of those are fake. So I'm just like, I'm not going to put myself in a fake prank category. Fake pranks TV? Yeah, <laughs> fake pranks. I've seen that. That's funny. Like, that's the show where like people do fake pranks and like yeah, they, they kind of like, clown. They know like, it's fake. fake. It's per- like, unless you're an idiot. Like, oh. <laughs> you should know it's fucking yeah. Yeah, but the fuck, bro? but people they make money, bro. If you get views, it's money. Yeah, that's so, true. But like, I don't know. It's not all about the. They money, boom right? on Facebook. I feel like the mm-hmm. Facebook yeah. fucking people. They will watch that shit. They'll take it as mm-hmm. fact. No, exactly. You just said right there, Juju. It's not. It's not all about the money. So like, do you? What do you do it for? You said, what do I do it for? Yeah, like, why, like, what the hell motivates you to wake up and say, can I eat your ass? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just curious, like, y'all, y'all keep going, like. I don't know, man, like, I just, I want to be, like, one of, like, the, uh, like, one of the goats on this platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't want to just be, like, one of those YouTubers that just come on this platform, they have their time, and then they go away. Like, I want people to really remember, like, that just happened. Oh, yeah. Like wh- whether it's ten years later, I have a family and I'm doing my thing. I still want yeah, people yeah. to remember, like, bro, I seen you. I remember when you used to do your thing. Like, yeah. I just want to really like leave my stone like on this platform and like just put out my talent. You just like make, making people laugh and shit too. Yeah, I just like clowning around too. Yeah, <laughs> Same with you, Eric. Just, like having That's a fun the- time. Yeah, to be honest, like, I'm relatively new to this. Julian's been doing it for five years. <clears throat> I've been doing it for, like, six months, you know? Yeah. So, like, for me, I, I think it's um, motivating to see people, like, know who I am, you know? Mm-hmm. And be like, oh, this is, I've seen you in a video. Like, that's cool. Like, like good video, you know? Mm-hmm. Or, like, people DMing me on Instagram and, like, saying, oh, I really like your video. Like, this helped me out a lot. And I, I feel like that's pretty motivating. Do you guys, do you guys read your, like, comments and DMs and stuff? Like oh, that? I read all of them. Yeah. yeah, I don't oh, have so really. Tell me, like, the most what is the worst comment, comment you guys have got? <laughs> that's low key fire. On each you of up? you, yeah, like <laughs> I just got like, a comment uh, <laughs> yesterday. I saw. Oh, oh my god! Like, so I'm, I'm obviously in my videos. Like the girls are like predominantly white. 
So, it, and uh, <laughs> I guess laughing. people think I just love white girls. I'm like, it, it's really not that. It's just like, that's all that's out there. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know about that one. Oh, <laughs> chill out, chill out, chill out. You know I love those curly hair, light skins. But anyways, uh, <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> pretty much this dude comedy, he was like, you freaking uh, Miracle Whip. Uh, miracle Whoa. Whip lover or some shit. He was just like, oh, man, wow. like you, uh, you chasing all these Miracle Whips or some. I, I don't even. Wait, what know. What was this dude? What was his? What was his what? <laughs> I, I I didn't even look that deep. I'm pretty oh. sure he was black. He was okay. just he's he's pretty much sense. mad that I haven't been talking to black women. Okay. And I I catch a lot of shit for that. And like, it's not that I'm not attracted to black women. It's just they're literally not out there. Like if I see like I just go out to you or they don't give that. you the time and, or they don't give me the time yeah. of day. They're like, please yeah. get away from me. Facts. I have more success with white girls in my videos. And, Do you feel like they it, were probably giving funny. you a better reaction? Who? Like, like who? The, yeah. For sure. Okay. And it's just, it's a weird thing we have on the channel where <laughs> white girls give me better reactions and the black girls, like, love Eric. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> they do. <laughs> and they do. Like, they do. <laughs> they, yeah. Honestly, so. like, my type is, like, blonde blonde girl, blue eyes, you know? Skinny, mm. you know? But, like, <laughs> the, like it's, it's, it's fun. Like, honestly, the black girls, like, they give me good reactions and like they, they always like they love it you know <laughs> i don't know, I don't know. They, they don't love me i, I it's weird. i need to get some advice from you honestly honestly because just, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that's funny <clears throat> yeah bro y'all be filming in scottsdale and shit and i mean i feel like the security out there don't care no, nah, we're chill. No, Scott chill. Yeah. You never gotten kicked out uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Sasso? No, no, never. Well, not like, other than Fashion uh, Square. Yeah, other than the fashion. mall. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. But uh, in Old Town, never. Yeah. Yeah. So, what? What do you uh, like? What's the ultimate goal as far as like the channel? Do you plan on having like a team, like adding more additions, like Eric? Um, or like, you know, well, where do you see yourself in the future? Or that that just, just happened. Yeah, that just happens. It's gonna be my channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we like want to branch out and like add like other pranksters like other interviewers we probably have to start another channel for that oh. like tjh team which we already have we have tjh team mm -hmm. so we're gonna do vlogs on there we're gonna just do a whole bunch of like team stuff like mm -hmm. with like a lot of people involved but uh the future i don't know i want to obviously get it to a million subscribers and like just keep growing from there and like just see how many like people like we can attract Mm -hmm. Just keep going. Like, that's the goal. Just mm -hmm. keep going no matter what. How often do you guys travel? Like, you guys be traveling a lot? COVID, um, right? I mean, yeah. It's a little kind of all over the place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just usually, like, pop-up trips, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, pop-up like, trips? Um, like random? When, when, yeah, random. Oh, okay. Like, when I was in Atlanta, like, it was like, oh, I have a free weekend. Like, Julian, let's go somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, we would go to, we'd go to Miami or I'd fly out here and we'd film for, like, a couple days or something. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. Traveling... Traveling, especially with COVID, I feel like now the restrictions are kind of getting lifted and stuff like that. So it's going to be easier to travel, but still, California is hard to go to because everything's shut down. I mean, yeah, the, really. the only place not shut down is the South, but it's <laughs> different, it's right. different tough out there. Movies. Different yeah. vibes out there in yeah. the South. Yeah. So uh, I feel like it should be booming, like in the South, if anything. Tuscaloosa, oh. Tuscaloosa booming. Yeah. <laughs> Booming. Yeah, I've been I've filmed there three times and every time it has been great. Yeah. And Julian's refused to go. But you wanna go, bro? Bro, I don't think What's me wrong? interviewing out there is a good look. Why? Uh, why? It's bro, Alabama? Look. A black a brother so, in Alabama. Oh, brother. <laughs> hey, hey I, you flip you flip the script, bro. <laughs> he said I flipped the script. It's like now I, I might go out there and just, just see what it's like. Who cares? Like, you know. Yeah. I mean that's how you you know, you gotta be uh <laughs> Gotta have a diverse channel, bro. That's, that's facts. Right. Gotta, that's facts. That's how you get to the milli. Yeah. Right. Oh <laughs> <laughs> bro, last time I saw you, Joe, you were wearing a fucking pink robe. Oh, oh man. Let's get into yeah, the, the story the about the robe. All right, so uh, <laughs> so basically, this, this is how the robe came about. So about two years ago in Miami, okay. I was in the University of Miami, and we were filming this video, Can I Go Home With You? And basically how that video worked is like, we're basically acting as if like we got kicked out of our place and we had a suitcase and we had a robe on. <laughs> straight bumming it. <laughs> yeah, just straight bumming it, acting like we just got kicked out and we have no clothes, we have nowhere to stay. Mm. And uh, basically I was wearing a pink robe in that video. And uh, I met this girl in this video, her name was Gabby. She had like red shorts on and like, she was like, apparently everybody just loved this girl. And everybody's like, oh my God, like it's the robe, like the robe attracted her. Like, bro, <laughs> like your robe has superpowers, you know? And like, you're so more, you're more confident when you wear this robe. And it's just, it just became a thing ever since then. Like, just like the pink robe just attracted, like just 
I don't know. Goddesses. Where'd you get the rope from? Target? Uh, like Marshall's. <laughs> <laughs> and you just kept that bitch right after? Yeah, I just kept it forever, man. Oh, my God. <clears throat> you know, I might sell it on eBay one day. Yeah. Oh, you still have it? Yeah, of course. Bro, I saw him. That's an IG story. Like, the other day, he had that shit on. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm never getting rid of my rope. That pig, that pig rope be pulling. Damn, damn. So y'all, y'all don't have like a TikTok bro or anything like uh, like a that just happened TikTok. Yeah, we do. We don't really post on it too much. I don't really, I don't really like TikTok. If I'm being honest, but like the videos you guys make, Eric likes TikTok. Ooh, yeah, I like TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's like fun. it's quick, like it's quick, catchy. it's easy. I mean, it, I feel like TikTok's actually like moving to like longer content right now. Oh, mm-hmm. no. But um, for for me, TikTok's doing really good. So yeah. I'm gonna stay on it and post consistently. I'm trying to, um, and. Yeah, I mean, TikTok's the wave right now. It, yeah. it is, and I feel like they're pushing everyone's videos more than, like, they're pushing IG. Yeah. Like, IG, their shit just, like, kind of sits there. You know, right. Like, mm-hmm. But, uh, like, what do, you, what do you be posting, like, on TikTok? I just post my clips from, like, my channel and oh, on that just oh. happened channel. And um, just, like, my interviews, because I feel like right now on TikTok, it's been doing really well. So, do you format for TikTok or do you just leave them in the? Yeah, so I actually I I re-edit for TikTok. So I I pull them for the clips, uh-huh. and um, I pull them from the videos, and then I re-edit it to make it really quick and snappy. Yeah, yeah because exactly. that's the whole See? thing with TikTok is like you got to keep the audience the attention. Um, like, oh, well, it's a swipe. Like the the swipe. Yeah, yeah, the retention. So like, I like try to get something like funny or like something crazy right off the bat like the first thing so yes. then people get their attention and then you 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 sh- string it out from there but tiktok's mm-hmm. just like a whole nother thing with the whole youtube you know yeah. different different i think tic- yeah tiktok's definitely like moving towards like maybe being the next i don't know youtube or mm-hmm. it's definitely remember, grown like, from where it started right. for sure, for for sure. Could. like we had the vine right yeah that was, oh like, vine that was, was lit here, and then they booted that or i don't even know what happened they got bought out or something or pretty whatever. much they it just then, they, they weren't making money on it okay there you and, go uh, they, then, you know money like I know, bro. This is, world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> money is the fucking world. I don't mm-hmm. care what anyone says. That, uh, that's facts. That's a fact. But, um, like, uh, like every guest that we bring on, right? Um, mm-hmm. We feel like, you know, they have a story. They have a story, they have a journey. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, meaning that, like, you guys are going through the journey. Um, there's ups and downs. I'm sure, like, we kind of touched on them a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's that's why we call this show, this uh, podcast wins and losses because you know there's highs and lows. Um, and, um, I just feel like as YouTubers at the, you know, uh, level you guys are at right now, Mm. um, it's important to at least speak on some of those losses that you guys taken during the journey, because on Instagram and social media, usually all you see is just the good stuff. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of like, in my, in my opinion, like important to share those stories, especially like to like your viewers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. who might be trying to start YouTube and Facts. can't overcome that stuff. So you want to go ahead and speak on some of those L's? <sighs> yeah. Um, man, I've had so many L's. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like the most impactful, like or the most craziest one. Uh, like a lesson, you know, like a major setback or mm-hmm. like a... It's probably like... You're probably when your channel died, maybe? Yeah, yeah honestly, it, it was probably that because I legit was thinking I was going to have to go home. And like I'm like, damn, I'm going home with no diploma, like everything, like my whole family's just gonna laugh at me. Like yeah. like they're like, damn, so you dropped out of school just to do this. <laughs> like so like that was probably like the biggest like L was just making like four dollars a day mm-hmm. and just literally just looking at your rent and just being not being able to pay it and like not knowing if you're gonna have a home, like like literally not knowing like where your future was gonna be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh we flipped that around, like we grind it and we grinded it out and now we're I want to say we're happen. not we're not rich, but uh, we're we're doing better. <laughs> yeah, rich yet? Right. Both got the new Mustang. Yes, that's sir. Shit. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. That's yours. Yeah, that's up? mine. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's hard. Sure. okay. Appreciate it, bro. How about yeah. on the flip side then? Uh, some 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 major achievements. Some wins. Okay. That, For sure. Any big? Um, what and Eric too. Yeah. What are oh, some big wins? Eric. Eric, I know Eric's think. thinking of his right now. I'm trying to think of some big wins. Uh, I don't know. Just every yeah, just. I don't know. I guess hitting like 400k was cool. Like just every little, every time we hit like 100,000 subscribers, like and you know that other. That what does threshold. that do for you mentally then? Like what does that do? It for just you tells mentally? me just to keep going harder. Yeah. yeah. It'll make it faster this time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like let's get to 100,000 faster. Like let's get to 500,000 quicker than we got to 400. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I feel like the growth is really motivating. Yeah. 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 I mean, as much as like the numbers can get in people's heads and like set you back, but mm-hmm. like. The numbers I feel like are motivating, especially mm-hmm. with me with my TikTok. When I hit 200k on TikTok, I'm like, mm-hmm. 
how can I get to 300 yeah, yeah. as fast as possible, you know? Yeah. Damn. All right, well, let's talk about your L's. Yeah, honestly, like, like some I, lessons, was, some I was thinking. Getting kicked out of ASU. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like that was probably my biggest low because really? um, I was in Arizona. I had I was having the time of my life meeting a ton of new people like Julian. Mm-hmm. And um, it was just I, I had so much fun, and then all of a sudden everything just got taken away from me. Had to go back home to Massachusetts, just and like didn't know what I was doing. Um, just pretty lonely, no friends in Massachusetts really. Um, kind of just had my own thing, mm-hmm. and then went to Atlanta, and I was really lonely still. Didn't have anybody, and I feel like that was my biggest low. And how long was that for? Like that, that was a whole span of what? Like <sighs> I would say going like, back home to Atlanta. Yeah, probably like four four and a half months. Or something like that. that. That's a long time. Yeah. And um I don't know, I would say like my biggest takeaway from that is just keep pushing on, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um basically like just make the best of your situation. I would say yeah. that. As hard as it is, mm-hmm. you know, I know just cuz I'm lonely and stuff, people are going through other hard times. Yeah. But, you know, like just make the best of the situation because there is opportunity within within the, the worst of the worst, I would say. For sure, for sure. And I feel like you guys could agree, like, how, like, operating as a team, like, mm-hmm. really helps, right? For sure, for like sure. Like, doing shit individually, because you guys both experienced that, you mm-hmm. know, during your guys' YouTube journey. Mm-hmm. Like, isn't it, like, so much easier to, to operate with the team and work with the team rather for than sure. just have someone to, like, yeah. Definitely. On. Like, you have people to, like, actually relate with. Yeah. Because, like, we're going through, like, the same stuff. Like, we're mm-hmm. both having problems getting girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Like, we're both dealing with all the same issues. So, it's good to just have that communication. So, you want a girlfriend? I think I do. I think I. I I won't say I'm looking. I'm just kind of like waiting for it to come. But uh, Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I've never had a girlfriend. So that, and then it's like if I do get one, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna balance that with my business. So yeah, because how are you gonna tell? Like, are you gonna tell her right off the bat? Like, this is what I do. I have to pick up girls. That's the thing. It's like me and Eric have kind of been. Uh, we've been talking about this lately. Like, we're we're kind of. We're, we're trying to shift away from, from like pickups. picking up girls okay. <laughs> like i don't want to be known as a pickup artist <laughs> especially yeah, I mean, with the whole cody coast that's what i was right yeah. you know, now like, he's like labeled like to all yeah of his, like mm-hmm. even the like today <laughs> at the restaurant we went to uh, she knew cody co and oh, she, she saw the video and she's like oh you're a pickup artist no yeah. for real? i'm like yeah. i get sure yeah you label me that right um <laughs> so like, <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> so, but I feel like finding girls um, that we actually want to like have a relationship with is mm-hmm. pretty difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, I guess I'm looking for a girlfriend, right? But he's um, looking, ladies. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but but like yet again, like for me, I like to put the girls in a different like like business and personal, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but then the girl, then it comes to the thing like Julian and I were saying, like. What do you tell them? You can't, yeah, like if you, you meet a girl like at so a party like, or something, what, like, what do you do? Right? That's what's gonna be difficult. Like, say I meet a girl, right? Like yeah. she doesn't know who I am. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're on a date or whatever. And she's like, so like, yeah, what do you do? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I make videos. Oh, really? What's your channel? Let me see. Let me uh, see. Go to my channel. Can I eat your ass? <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. like, bro, like. Oh my god! I never thought about that because I don't like, it's videos kinda, like that. So like, yeah, right. you're kind of right. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so like, most, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> and it it's, is. Yeah, it's. Tough. it's that tough. would be very hard. Mm-hmm. So we're just trying to figure out like a way to like, cause I, I, I never really wanted to be. I didn't want to pick up girls on YouTube. It kind of just happened. Like that was like what the fans wanted to see the most. Like that those videos happened. did the best. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> Literally. So we're just trying to do more like pranks, mm-hmm. like more like funny, like really funny, funny pranks instead of just like just hitting on girls. So yeah, we're gonna figure out how to like transition to that pretty soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, is is that like those are the type of videos that you're trying to do now? Like, yeah, for sure. Transition into like pranks. Mm-hmm. Just uh, pranks. No vlogging and shit like that. I'm great. We're that? gonna vlog on the second channel. We have a channel yeah. called TJH Team. We're gonna start vlogging on pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe I'm, I'll vlog a couple dates. Who knows? Hey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. vlog the dates? Yeah. All right. Hey, why not? So Maybe, all right, yeah, well, see, that's go. the thing, see, all right, that's the, that's if I vlog line. the dates, that can kind of fall into a business thing, like, I might take some of the girls that I meet 
like from the video to hit them up and else? then what oh oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh star you want some <laughs> no, no, you know no, I, I can no. just, <laughs> and we can go through our numbers real fast <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, like, but i think a lot of fans have been asking for that they're like julian like you should really like like you had a connection with that girl in the video like i want to see her oh, again I so i'm like that might be a big thing yeah. like i actually like on some youtube bachelor stuff like hitting up some of these girls and going that would be dates. actually pretty big i feel like mm. Oh, Give the people knows. what they want to see. Right, yeah. Hey, I'm a man It's like another, that. like, level and step to the prank. Mm -hmm. You know? Because, like, you're doing it for the video. I mean, at least I am. But, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So then it's, like, another step to the prank. You know, like, the, the viewers get to see the actual girl and, like, how, how like, Julian or I would interact with the girl. Right. Because you know? most of the time, like, would you say, like, are they like lit when you're like talking to them? If you're if you're like well, an old town, are like, you guys lit too? Or no? no, I don't really. I've I've been a little lit like one recording session, like yeah. and like that was in the summer. Which one was it? It was uh, <laughs> we were doing this interview. Remember the uh, what was it? What was it really titled? We changed the title. It was just like, what's your go-to dance move? Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I, it was I, like I was the thinking. last interview that we had in like the vault of interviews before COVID really shut everything down. Mm -hmm. And then so like. We did like a, a can you dance like club kind of. It was a fun video. Right, it was fun. It, was it didn't get as enough recognition as it should, but. Right. So but you guys like literally like go out one night and then just film like five, five different episodes. Videos. Do like you guys bring some like different outfits? Mm -hmm. Or do you wear the same one? We no. just we wear the we, same one, but we like we probably we'll, should switch. That's yeah, we probably <laughs> should. Everybody's like, damn, y'all not have clothes. Like, what are y'all doing with YouTube that. money? Like, <laughs> how long does that should take? Like five videos. It depends. It really depends on the night. I would say like. It depends how many girls are out and how many girls are actually willing to be in the video because we do mm -hmm. ask every girl like, right like what do you say yeah. i'm curious like yeah. we'll just, just be like, like yo look, what's up are you trying to be my youtube video? yeah and, and they simple. usually ask like what what, what, what is, is the video it? you know yeah. and like i say like well if, if we tell you then it messes <laughs> yeah. up the realism you know right because yeah. we like getting the girls actually reacting like oh my god yeah like i'm not gonna tell a girl yeah i'm gonna ask you can i eat your ass yeah, yeah. like you know what i mean yeah. like no nah. Mm -hmm. But um, we have this thing. I don't like interviewing girls that are too lit. No. Okay. Because I, I don't. I think that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Respect. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not going to interview a girl that's drunk, and I know she's going to regret it when she watches it in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I literally like I look at you. I'm like, all right. Well, she seems like we're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. She's looking at me in the eyes. Like she's not drunk. Yeah. So like I'll ask her. Like that's how we pick the girls out there. Eric, you're the same way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, making <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> Eric be going after the drunk. <laughs> I'll just play it. <laughs> All right, bro. What about we didn't even get to touch on some of your achievements, some some wins. That yeah, I mean, I, I would say a big achievement right now is like getting signed to that just happened, and um like seeing where I can take my channel and like mm -hmm. my TikTok too, mm -hmm. um because I feel like I have a like a lot of potential right now mm -hmm. to like to see where that goes, um, and I would say a, another achievement is just like moving out to Arizona, yeah. because like this is like really where I kind of want to be, and like. Like I love the people out here. Everyone's nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a great place um, to be. The what you can't beat the weather, obviously, and yeah. and like except and the summers. Except the summers. Have yeah. you been out here during the summers? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hot, but God, from Boston you can take it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. yeah, so being out in Arizona is definitely a big win for me. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I've been out in Arizona my whole fucking life, and I just can't. That's exactly I feel like <laughs> you know what I'm everybody like where you haven't been. It's like right. It's like I met a lot of people, and I realized that like everybody that like lives in their hometown like mm -hmm. forever like hates it. No matter if they're in California, Miami. Like I know so many people in Miami that are just like I hate it here. I'm just like, if you were in Ohio, like <laughs> you it. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's funny. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. We're gonna get we're get uh ready to wrap it up pretty soon, bro. Okay, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and you know for those that are uh, maybe starting off on YouTube, trying to get their YouTube together. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to know if you wanted to leave any words of oh yeah, motivation, most most definitely. Like uh, first thing I want to say is um, get rid of distractions. Um, if you want to do something different, if you want to be different, then you can't follow the masses. Yeah. You have to look at what everybody else is doing and be like, all right, I'm going to go the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> like, for me, like, back in Ohio, like, everybody wanted to go to the club, like, you know, smoke weed, do drugs, have sex, you know, all that little stuff. So I literally did the complete opposite. I didn't have sex till I was 21. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke till I was 21. But I literally just completely focused on, like, just editing and getting better at editing and focusing on just getting ideas and all that. So I say uh, just work on yourself and just figure out who you are and yeah just focus on your craft like literally just 
Yeah. Go hard. <laughs> just go yeah, hard. Go like, hard. that's, all, that's yeah. all I pretty much have to say. I mean, yeah, like, you dropped out of school, bro. That doesn't mean, like, I mean, that shows a lot. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That means you're going hard. Unless you're just pissing the time away, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh, no. Hell <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. That would be terrible. How about you, Eric? Yeah. Um, I would honestly say don't care what other people think. I like that one. That's yeah. a big one. Because mm-hmm. I have a lot of people um, hit me up from high school and, like, hmm. different stuff like that and Good. say, yeah, I don't like what you do. You know, like, wow. like you're so Why weird. the fuck does that matter? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, like, and and also with, like, the videos, like, what we do, too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I was on, like, one of the biggest YouTube channels in America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, you just don't, you just, you can't care what people have to say about you. And I feel like that's a big thing with what YouTubers go through. Because you're in the eye of so many people. And if you care what that one person says, then you'll never get through what everyone else has to say. And so, and that's it. That's all I really got to say. I think for sure. You're not, you're not giving a fuck what other people say, mm-hmm. bro. Because the minute you start caring what other people say is the minute you start losing. Exactly. You, know what I'm yeah, saying? you start exactly. defeating yourself, start mm-hmm. beating yourself up, mm-hmm. letting all that negative energy kind of just throw you around, toss you around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I feel that. Um, but uh, quick question, though, bro. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back into this real quick. Because okay, I forgot to ask y'all about you. You see the YouTube fight? The YouTube. Uh, uh, oh. What do y'all think about YouTube boxing? Yeah. <laughs> YouTubers boxing. Um, I was thinking about that today, actually. I think because Logan Paul Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> you don't box ever? I used to box a little oh, bit. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, I used to box a little bit. Well, My dad was Logan Paul's actually, ass? I honestly probably would. I'm not like, oh. <laughs> wait, can we but, say that to the camera? Hey, you know, I, Logan Paul, I'll beat your ass. But, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 hey. This is a story. You but, have to uh, hear this, right? Uh, but, nah, my dad's a professional boxer. Oh, uh, oh shit. So, uh, <laughs> world time. Darren Allen, world champion. Uh, so I used to start boxing before YouTube, actually. And I'm honestly, I've been contemplating sometimes, like, if I should get back into it, like, just to, because the whole YouTube boxing. But I kind of think YouTube boxing is kind of, uh, ruining like the actual no, sport of boxing. boxing it is for sure i think it's making it like a joke yeah because it's like, like if you can just have a following and you can just box like what about all these people that are grinding in the gym exactly for years right and they don't ever get those opportunities because they don't have that mm-hmm. name or that following mm-hmm. it's kind of yeah it's kind of fucked up like there's people that are way like better than jake paul like in floyd's weight class that they'll, they'll never get a title shot like they'll yeah. never get a shot but since jake paul has a following he gets to fight floyd or because Logan he paul can generate yeah, that, sales and, and money it's all about the money it all comes down to that it all comes down to money at the end of the day but so, you would beat his ass oh i mean i need give time you six i need time i need six months to get back into it but uh i was nice i think i'd kick logan paul's ass like a lot of them logan <laughs> Not Logan, Jake, Jake I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm are they, sorry. Are they from Ohio too? Yeah, they're from Ohio. Oh so shit! I don't think yeah, I'm. I don't think up. I'm big enough to get on that level, like as far as my clout, like to fight them. But maybe one oh, day we'll we'll, we'll get in the ring one day. Yeah, one day if they see this shit. <laughs> you fight. You fighting Bradley Martin? Oh, you know who that is? he's yeah. Bradley's huge. I, I, bro, Bradley Martin. He wouldn't be able to hit me. When you run, you go under. His <laughs> what do you mean? He's, he's like he's like he's six he's four. Like. That's the thing about yeah, boxing. Like just because you got muscles and you're bigger does not mean you know how to actually fight. Like th- just like uh, Floyd. Floyd fought so many guys that are bigger than him, but like Floyd won off of just getting points. Yeah, he's jabbing. Big, like you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, bro, he yeah. knew how to like be in the ring. So like, bro, are you throwing shade at Floyd Mayweather? What do you mean? What did I say? <laughs> oh. Just getting points off Jazzy. Hey, hey, Logan. Hey, oh, okay. No, I respect like Floyd. I, I, Floyd. Nah, Floyd, <laughs> Floyd probably beat my ass. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not going that far. No, no, no. But. <laughs> no, wait, no, I wanted to hear y'all perspectives because y'all are the first YouTubers, I think. Are the first YouTubers? Yeah. One of the yeah. first YouTubers on, on our channel that had okay. to ask that shit. For sure, for sure. <laughs> we'll set but, it up. We'll get in charge. Hey, <laughs> Logan Paul, bro. You know where to you know where to find me, man. <laughs> we'll close that up. But, uh, nah, I... Appreciate you guys coming. Yeah, through. thanks yeah, for yeah, having us, bro. It was really fun, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Hopefully, you sure. guys have you guys sometime soon again or something. For sure. Like that. Ooh, for yeah. sure. At the Millie Mark. Hell yeah, at the Millie Mark. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. It'll be really yeah. soon, hopefully. Yeah, Let's for go. sure. Well, you, all, you guys all heard it here. I'm your host, Adam Perez. I got my co host, Star with me. We got Julian. We got Eric in the house. Shout out your channels, real quick. Oh, yeah. That just happened TV on YouTube. My Instagram is TJHJuju. Yep. Uh, Eric Davis on YouTube and official Eric Davis on Instagram. Let's go. Make sure you guys, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the info in the description. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you feel like you enjoyed watching this video until next time, peace, peace. peace.